Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the RTN Overtime Podcast, Season 2, Episode 2. It is your boy, your host, your man, JC, Joshua Counts. I am here with a special edition of Episode 2. We have the Freshman episode. I'm here with Freshman Rob, Sam, and Jake. And obviously, I did not get the memo because it seems like today was Jersey Day as well. I did not wear my jersey. There's that. <laughs> But before we get started on today's episode, we have a lot to talk about MLB, NFL, and NBA. And we have a new thing, a new segment we're doing called Start One, Bench One, and Cut One. But before we get to that, we let us go, go over our, excuse me, let us go over our Roman sports team because a lot has been going down. Congratulations to our women's, our, excuse me, our field hockey team, our women's soccer team, our men's soccer team on winning the NJAC, and also our volleyball team as well for winning the NJAC as well. All of them did advance to the NCAA where, well, women's volleyball lost in NCAA. Men's advance, men's did win last night. There was a, they won two, what, it was a 2-1 or 3-2, I believe, Sam. We was watching three, that game. 3-2. Three, 3-2, thank you, okay. Sam. We, they beat them 3-2. Uh, they will be advancing. Uh, Chad Yates and Johnny Troiano had two late goals in that second half. They go on to the round of 16. Field hockey advanced to the third round. They beat their opponent down 4 nothing against CNU. Looking, and actually, they play today as well. Play today at 1 p.m. Check that out, guys. Uh, looking for the second consecutive semifinal appearance. And women's soccer team beat Methodist 5-1 in the NCAA opener. So they will be moving on. And men's cross country placed fifth at NCAA Metro Region Championship. So, again, shout out to them. And shout out to all our Roman sports teams. And hopefully our basketball team can soon get some dubs. They are all right now actually 0-1, both women's and men's. I was at the men's men's basketball game where they just got beat up. (laughs) They just got beat up. Oh, boy. Does not look good. (laughs) It's not that they look good. It's just that they jack up shots before passing the ball. You just can't do that. That's the thing. You just can't do that. Yeah, and they got a lot of new faces too. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of playmakers like uh, Arena Zimbi, who was there last season, is gone now too. He graduated, and there was another one. I think yeah, he was a junior. I believe he he transferred. As far as I know, he transferred. Damn. But uh, yeah, that was the I saw wrong report. Any opinions on that, guys? I got one thing to say about the men's team. They lost by one point against Springfield. Yeah, that's crazy. You said Jack have shots. You quote Josh quotes. They'll be fine, I think. They're, they'll be fine. They're going to learn from this. They're going to progress. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to make an end jack run. Okay. Yeah. Rob, anything? I mean, it's been a great fall for uh, mostly all of our sports here. Um, just another one to add. Shout out to uh, girls soccer down in Virginia right now. Mm-hmm. Won um, yesterday in their uh, NCAA tournament. Won 4 nothing, and they're going to uh, advance, and they're going to play today. If they win today, they'll uh, keep on dancing. So a little shout out to them. And uh, – I think the men's soccer team actually won as well. Yeah, they yeah, won. They did, yeah. they was, it was it was looking dark in the second half. It was uh two was one. Like, yeah, two one until they came yeah. back like yeah. the late second half. They got them two goals. So you know, so overall, I mean, great fall and uh hopefully even better uh winter, winter. sports season. Yeah, we're hoping on that basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hoping on that basketball and swim, and swimming's coming up too. So uh all right, that was our Rowan sports report right there. So now let's take it to the first topic of the day. A lot of things happening in the baseball world. Congratulations to the – actually, I don't want to say congratulations <laughs> to the Houston Astros. I want to say congratulations to Dusty Baker because I'm a Dusty Baker fan. 100%. He is current – he's been now – he is now the third black coach to win a – black manager, excuse me, to win a World Series championship in the MLB. And the Astros have gotten their second World Series championship. So now begs the question, best team in baseball – well, also the Philadelphia Phillies, get, give a shout-out to them. They did yeah. Cinderella – they had a great Cinderella story. They did, yeah. Uh, eventually it came to the end of – they met the evil empire and the uh, Houston Astros. <laughs> but this time they didn't cheat. So I, I don't <laughs> even don't know, know. I don't, don't even know, know how to say, put well, we'll this. See. Like, are, are the Astros the, truly the, the team of the decade now? Well, not the decade, no, but no, like no, no. She... let's not go decade, right? There. <laughs> yeah, not the decade. <laughs> not the decade. Yeah. Look, as much as I maybe don't like the Astros, I gotta give them credit. They are so fun to watch. I love the. I love watching as a Yankee fan. I love watching them. They're just so fun to watch. I love how they're built. They're drafted. They're homegrown. Look, the Astros are they unbeatable? That's the question you would ask. Yeah, are they the best team? 
I think they are the best team. I think they're much better than the Dodgers. I think they're going to most likely win the World Series again next year. So they go back to back. I think okay. they go back to back. That's the prediction? That. They're, back just to back a, to back, yeah. they're just a loaded squad. I mean, they're just they're Why, always built for success. Who's beating them? The I want to say the Dodgers could. is the only team that could beat them. The Angels we, could. We say the Dodgers every year. We, we do. The Dodgers are at the top every year. But listen, they just yeah. crumble and post But the Astros, I mean, they're just... They're just built to win every year. It's honestly amazing. Like what they did to the Yankees to get oh, to the World Series. Come on, that was brutal. I that mean, the Yankees a have a, had a great year. They, they just did, yeah. They demolished the Yankees. So I mean, <laughs> I don't see it. That anything. wasn't even demolished. That was like a humiliate. That was no, like no, no, no. They killed them. They killed them. Yeah, like they literally stomped on them and just said, like, yo, y'all, like, it's like, yo, you tried to. Do you think, like, it's like. You ever thought like, you could be better than a person in basketball and then that one dude be like, all right, bro, I'm, I'm tired of playing with you. Like, yeah, like, let's, I'm going to humble you now. And that's what the actual did to the Yankees. They humbled him like, yo, y'all are did, not yeah. on that level like us. So it, it, it's, it sucks. So which brings us to the next question for the MLB free agency and the Yankees because Aaron Judge, I believe, will be a free yeah. agent. Yes, he will be. Yeah. It's kind of sad looking at as a he's, Yankees he's, fan. He's going to resign. He's going to resign. He's going to resign. There's been talks going the Giants, the Cubs, the Dodgers. No. He is staying right here in New York City, and he's going to be in pinstripes at Yankee Stadium opening day. It's going to happen. Listen, Sam, I'm a Yankees fan as well, but Sam. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm Who, not as confident as you. Listen, to confident. Ju- Listen, he's from the San Francisco area. Listen, I'm Aaron Judge. Might want to go home. I might want to go home, especially. Listen, I'm Aaron Judge. I got I get booed in the postseason after hitting sixty. It was sixty two home runs this year. Yeah, I get a, booed uh, at up. my house. Hold up, if you're a Yankee fan, then you know the Yankees have expectations. Rutgers yeah, we got are, expectations. Yeah. Rutgers are cool and all, but we don't care. But, about but them at the you cannot. Rob, Rob. You're, you're saying that was all right to boo Aaron Judge after no. yes. sixty two. No, no, I'm not. Yes. Rob, no, That's Rob, horrible. Rob, Rob. That's That's what, no, no, Rob. Don't forget. The Yankees have a ton of money. Remember, in San, in California, there's a 10% income tax. So, no, that is a fair point there. That so a lot of players do, like, not to get off topic here, but yeah. that's the reason why Tyree Kill picked the Miami over the Jets. True. There's no state tax in Florida. There is no that state tax. That could be a factor yeah. in his decision. Listen, 100%, but I mean, listen, if I'm getting booed after putting but, on an MVP season, and I'm getting booed, and, come on, man. But that Rob, doesn't Rob, matter. Rob, 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 Rob. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> No, he it, is it, wrong. I know, I know, but like, yeah. no, no, no. Let, let, let's get back to the judge thing. If you insert Aaron Judge in the San Francisco Giants lineup right now, how much better are they? And let's let's True. go in order. Listen, of there's the a NL lot of West. great players who go to poor teams. It's not about just going to like. I know you have those guys who want to just go to contenders and win, but there are some players who stick with poor teams. I mean, look at, Mike, Bryce, look at Mike Trout signing that deal a couple of years ago. Mike Trout, and I would say even Bryce Harper, because when he went to the Philly, they were not good like that. Yeah. Now they went to the World Series. <laughs> but 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 he wants to win now. He I he is in his early 30s. He doesn't have much. Left is in his thirties. What yeah. have the Yankees done to prove that they can win now? This has been four years that they have these road loaded rosters. They can't do anything with them. They got I mean, no. Hit, no, they got no pitching. Got That's no, the thing. No, they had pitching. No, they had pitching this year. It was the year. hitting. The hitting was abysmal. Good. And the, 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 the honestly, the defensive errors in the postseason too. But I mean, it's a whole oh, other that, story. That's all. Whole other story. But I mean, listen, Judge. Listen, I think I I think there's a good chance he stays. But I wouldn't be too surprised if he went to the Giants or anywhere else. It, I think if he doesn't. I don't want to put this out there. I don't want to say those words if Judge doesn't resign because let's not put those words out there, Yankee fans. I think it would be the Giants. He loves Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds is recruiting him. I think the Dodgers is all talk. I don't think he wants to go to the Mets. Cubs, I I heard, were trying to chase after him. And then the Dodgers said they would get in on the action too, like always. I doubt the Dodgers could get him. I, nah, I, they got too, they, they're too loaded as it is. And they get him. That would be crazy. Now, what if Judge be be more loaded now, than Sheesh. What if Judge goes to the Astros? Oh, and then we hate him for the rest of his li- rest yeah. of his life. <laughs> we hate him for the rest of his <laughs> life. That be a slap in the face. And, <laughs> no, I, like, and the Astros would win another World Series. I'm saying this. Happened. I'll say this too. Like, Imagine a lot of like Philly fans say, like, oh, we want Aaron Judge. We want Aaron Judge. I don't think that's going to happen. Like no, honestly, I, no, the they're going to Trey Turner. The, the yeah, they're Phillies have yeah. question marks, which I also want to ask: like, can you they can you do you think they can duplicate what they did this oh. this past season again oh. next season? Saying from a Yankees fan, definitely because they looked really good. They looked, but that, it feels like it was a Cinderella story that might not happen again. Hundred percent, I don't. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I mean, listen, it's just sometimes you just have those years, and I don't know. It's just it was a fun team to watch. It was exciting. Listen, maybe they bring in Trey Turner. They keep some of that talent. Bryce Harper, I mean, man was on a tear. He's, he's going tear. in the Hall of Fame one day. So, no I mean, listen, like, why not? I mean, yeah. I feel like in the 
in Major League Baseball, except for maybe you take the powerhouse teams like that. I mean, really, just the Astros. Like anyone can really beat anybody. True. You know, you know true. what, Rob? I'm gonna disagree, with you guys. If the Phillies roster stays the same, the exact same right now, right this right now, opening day, I don't think they're going back to the World Series. I think this was, as Josh pointed out, was a Cinderella run that happened. It was great, great storyline. But I also think the Padres will be better than them this year. I think the with, Dodgers will be better. <laughs> no, 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 no. With, with Tatis, Dodgers. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I, I'm gonna. This is gonna call me crazy. I think the Braves are gonna beat them. In the I think. Yeah, oh, I, I think love the, the Braves. Braves gonna be so better. fun. To Very watch. good team. I love the Braves. Like, do it, I don't get me wrong. The Philadelphia Phillies had a. Listen, we all know, we all got we know a bunch but, of Philly fans here but, at campus. Like, but, yeah. but, but, it was a great environment. It was awesome, and they were happy. And they were going to the the stadiums were packed, and the energy was amazing. But, but it's like at but the you, end of the day, it felt like, and I wanted I was rooting for the Phillies to win, and my heart was conflicted because I was like, I want Dusty Baker to win because I want him because I want him to get a yeah, championship. I'm, has, I'm happy Dusty. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I want the Phillies to win because I don't Dusty. want to see the Astros no, win. I'm also happy for let's just let let uh, let's just talk about something that's bigger than sports right here with the Astros. Trey Mancini, who. Overcame cancer. Yeah, true. In 2020, and last year was on a tear with the Orioles and got traded. Overcoming cancer in 2020, winning the World Series in 2022. That's what made me. I was happy for him getting his ring, but I wasn't happy for the Astros. Hundred percent. Meanwhile, yeah. Trey Mancini um was put on at um filled in at first base and. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if it was game four or five, but he made like a game saving play. No, after oh, yeah. That was, it was, yeah um, I saw that. Um, Schwarber had a rocket at him. He dropped down to a knee, took it off one hop. It was like one of the, it was probably one of the best plays in the World Series. I think that was game underlooked. five. Listen, it was, yeah, probably, but it was, it was an insane play and it was very underlooked. So, I mean, he, even not getting much playing time, when he needed to uh, step up, he, uh, he, he answered up. the call. Yeah, he did. He did, and also the Astros got the. I think it was the first ever no hitter in World Series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, what I, I saw. Was, I thought it was second. It was the second. The second? Yeah. second. Yeah. Okay, the second. No hitter, yeah. It was second. second. And the other one happened at in Philly, actually. That was. I was. I was. Was it holiday? I th- no, it was. Um, I'll look. Their other pitcher. Yeah, someone fact checked that for me. It, I forgot. I definitely. I forgot what his name was, but I. I know who I know. I can see, if I know. I see his face. I know. I know who it is. Yeah. Don Larson. Yeah, Larson. Larson. All right, thank you, Sam. Uh, but yeah, Astros. Are probably definitely going to be the team to be most likely favorites to go back to back next season. Probably they I could win it all for the next couple of years the way they're built. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, if they re-sign people, yeah. Well, they're keeping Altuve. Yeah, know, yeah they're keeping play. Altuve. Yeah. So Altuve. Uh, he goes in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Altuve. Yes. yes. Yeah, he had a poor post. Even yes. with the even with the whole no, 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 cheating no, no, no. scandal. Yes. 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 He does. Listen, if we're He's throwing... going to retire as a top ten short second baseman. Of all time, and much as I may dislike him on the field, Jose Altuve is going in the Hall of Fame. I don't want to hear any cheating scandals. He has proved he can win without cheating. Look, he's a t- look, guys. Yes, that MVP would he did rob Judge of the MVP. Oh, 100%. The only, yeah, he did. The only stat he had better was batting average. Look, he is a Hall of Famer, and ster- I'm gonna say this. I know we're going a little off topic here. But steroid players also do belong in the Hall of Fame. Oh, so no, does, so does Pete Rose. I True. agree more. <laughs> Maybe that one might be Paul. Without Tuve's going in, get Pete Rose in there. I think they all should be in. Because Barry, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, because all of them get in. You yes. know why? You have a player like David Ortiz in the Hall of Fame who did roids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why shouldn't Barry Bonds or Roger Clemens be in? No, I'm not saying it's not right. But I'm saying if one gets in, they all should be getting in. Well, especially after you after baseball profit off me for saving the sport after the they, NBA they, and the NFL were yeah. taking over. They, yeah. No, steroids save baseball. As much as people don't like to talk about it, that's save baseball. Who knows where it would be the top ten, top four sports in America? Maybe not even top four. I think maybe MLS would even take it over. It might not they be could, top yeah. four anymore right, as of right now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, I think, I don't, I think no, we're no, still no. up there. We're you still, think it's still up there? I think baseball? I think there's a very uh, nice amount of people who still enjoy the game. I love I, don't. I, still, I got obviously NFL <laughs> ranked king. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I got real. NBA. Three is always the tricky one. I still, I probably want to say, always say baseball, but I feel like college, the way college sports has taken yeah. off. Are we, are, we, are we just taking pros or are we doing everything? 
Oh well, yeah, probably. I'm about to say if you, we're doing everything in pro wrestling. Oh yeah, like, no, pro no, wrestling no, is like no, four or no, five. No, pro no, wrestling is less no, than no, no, no. Like number one is NFL. Yeah. yeah. Number two is college football. Oh yeah. Over the NBA, I, don't know, I can't agree with that. Over the NBA, the college football. Listen, I love college football, but Same. what I've realized is that there's too many just like Teams. lopsided games. Like yeah. there's some weeks where it's like. You look for good games. There's sometimes there's a week where there's just not a good in game college, on. In and college, you, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cut you off. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry, but there's like you'll get like really good games, like some of the best, yeah. best games you'll see in your whole life. But then like another week, it's like teams are beating teams like 72 to seven. Yeah, like and it's like what are we yeah. watching? It's, now? it's not <laughs> only that. It's like people also see that people, seeks, hang, people don't pay attention to the rankings come out, and then when the rankings come out, it's always some weird. Oh, uh, this team should be that. That team should be this. And format. it's like, bro, come on. Like at this point. They do need. I think they're going to eventually move to a better form play. They did. Format. They already decided that. They a couple decided. Of years, yeah. They're going to expand. Okay. They're all yeah. teams. Like I don't college football and college basketball. I only pay attention to college basketball till March Madness. Me started. neither. I don't think Me anyone neither. does. So that's why I'm like, yo, NBA is really. That's nah, like three. Like three or soon four. as soon as NBA start, I'm all in in the NBA. NBA's got too long of a season. I feel honestly, the MLB t- it does too. Yeah, but I mean, it's the storyline. Too of long drama, of a season. Bro. So so let so let's let's play a little commissioner game. So if you're Commissioner Rob Manford right here, what do you change about the MLB? I would shorten the season. I would season. shorten the season. 100%. To what? So How many what are we, what are we at? 162? 162. I'd, I'd go down to 100? maybe like 118. <laughs> no, I'd go. I think I'd keep it. You also, I'd you, keep I would it. you have to figure out how to make the games quicker. And stay well, they're it. adding yeah. the pitch clock, so we're going to see that, about that. Yes, that is a good thing. But you look at viewers for the MLB. It's a long game. Yeah. That's All right, let not- me ask y'all a question. When y'all turn on baseball, do y'all actually pay attention to everything in the game, or is it like background noise? Okay, for me. No. If it, wait, what team? Is it, the, is it the Yankees? Even if I'm a Yankee, I'm a casual Yankee fan, but even if it's the Yankees playing, I, it feels like background noise. No, I am, I'm watching the game. If it's a Yankee game, I'm watching the game. Well, for me, I'm not like a baseball. I'm not like a huge baseball fan, but like. So it's background noise. Yeah, then. for me, it would be background noise. Because even with, uh, maybe like when a playoff start, I'm oh, yeah. all in in oh, the baseball game. Like now I'm paying like attention. Postseason. NBA as well. There's nothing like the postseason. The regular season NBA, I honestly could care less. Same. Uh, the I'm Celtics, all, are, no. the Celtics are on TV, then I'll put it on yeah, and I'll watch here. that game. But the playoffs, <laughs> like I can watch any team play in the playoffs. I can't watch any team in the regular season. Me just too much, especially the MLB. But nah. For the NFL season, I could watch like all the time. Like. Every Sunday, I always like am the rive to watch. See, the that's game. why the NFL's king. True. Yeah. yeah. True. So okay, now 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 we're we're where we switch from baseball. We go to NBA. If you're Adam Silver, what would you change schedule wise? No. I think it was short no. in the season. It's just a long season. For I, these don't guys. What are they, I don't think. I don't think, think it's long. Long I season. What do they get? It. Like two, three months off? If you, they like like just take the Celtics or the Golden State Warriors, they go to the finals. Like. How how long is their off season? Two months, uh, two and a half months. Two and a half, yeah. What well, the finals Three ends? Months. What like end of June? June end of June, of June. So they got they get ready they get ready for like preseason. October September. September is like preseason. October to start the season. Yeah, yeah, so like preseason September. So I, July August. Yeah, it's like five months. What Adam Silver month, has yeah. done for the NBA has gotten better because he's fixed I, that. Tank. He's, a great, he, he, probably he's the best thinking, in sports. Oh no, def, no doubt. Yeah, he's fixed the tanking because he's like, yo, y'all not tanking to get these best players no more. Very even. And then he's fixed the playoff because a lot of people come. Like April, May would start not playing their best players, and they'd be like, yeah. "All right, yo, we got the number one seed. We done." No, it's not the fact you got, especially actually not the number one seed, especially those eighth and seventh seeds. They was like, "All right, no, now we got the playing." So now it's it has like That's that college smart. basketball format. You like the playing? I love the playing. No, I'm not a playing fan. I think it should be one through eight, and that's it. No, I love the playing because good, how though. many how many teams are how many teams are in the NBA? Like thirty two, thirty two, and so that's the a little I look. 20 teams are making the playoffs. No, it's not because it's like including yo, the plan. No, because yeah. you got okay, you got 10, you got so you got what seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You yeah. got to play for the playoff spot. So if you seven and you but knock off, do you the, count the plan as plan as playoffs? Because some yes. people do. Yeah, I do. Okay, you gotta be, win. You be, gotta win because then it, you're saying then then go back to my point. 20 teams are making the playoffs. So here's the thing. 20 teams. Yeah, all right. So 20 teams. But here's the thing. Same like the Phillies. The one that one play that one playoff team and the playing, whatever you want to call it, could go on that run. Yeah. It's it's highly unlikely because you gotta win more games in basketball than in baseball. Now that's but. what make it would make it great. 
keep it for a couple of years. Let's see what happens with it. I think it. I think the way it has the fans have loved it because a lot of teams have come out in the play and it's shown like, oh, okay. And it's finally getting some teams that who don't always go to the playoffs an opportunity to get a playoff like atmosphere in terms of the I fan mean, did base. Did you see the Timberwolves last year? Oh, when yeah, exactly. Oh my that goodness, was, exactly. It was, like, it was like they won the Super Bowl. And it was They're like, freaking out. That was the. That's the. That's the. Part, that's the main reason why I was like, all right. See, you get that reaction. You get that kind of content. It's like, yeah, the plan is the perfect. <laughs> The plan uh, is funny to me, honestly. Speaking of NBA talk, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick switch because we're gonna finish off with NFL. A lot of stuff going down since it's NFL Sunday, but let's talk about the NBA. A so, lot of things been going down. All right, a lot of <laughs> top surprise teams like the Utah Jazz, who were supposed to be taking, They're killing it. Oh my god, killing it! Like you said, going balling. Ten and four. Yeah, yeah. Ten, without Donovan Mitchell or Rudy Gobert <laughs> and Rudy Gobert, that to me, I can't even name anybody on. On the day, Marketing, Utah Jazz right Mark, now. Markinen's on the Jazz. Laurie, Mar- Laurie Markinen. Laurie Mar- okay. Clarkson? Yeah. Clark. Thank you. Jordan Clarkson's there Jordan too. Clarkson, Clarkson. Okay. Yeah, but like, like that team was built the tank and they're <laughs> winning. <laughs> And their jerseys are growing on me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're pretty fun. Everyone was clowning the jerseys. I don't, I don't like them. Everyone, was, yeah, I know, but no one was liking them. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I like them. Yeah. The, they had the classic purple jersey. Was those are fire. Like, don't get me wrong. I think they'll wear those a couple fire. times this year. But listen, what a surprise season for but them. I, I, well. like, I want to get y'all pick up right. Who's that surprise team for y'all? Okay, because I, I I got the Utah Jazz. I did not see this coming. Okay, so I'll say this as this, me and Rob are both Celtics fans. Us being in second, we were we were in the finals. I honestly feel like we could stay in second through, throughout the East. With our schedule, it looks like we could stay in second. You going so you don't think you could no, get that number one seat in the playoffs? No. Oh, Pat, who's number one? Milwaukee. It's Milwaukee by one game. I Milwaukee think we could get it. Listen, I mean, it's still early. Jason Tatum's having a great season. Am I surprised that we're doing this well? No, I expected this, but I mean, same. You no, know, we're on a six-game win streak. We're being up on some teams. Uh, the Brown Tatum duo looking better than ever. Marcus Smart once again in the. Uh, Defensive player of the year. Looking like that uh, again, Chase. honestly. Yeah, so I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. What well, I am surprised is uh, Trailblazers. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right uh, behind. Like, Dame, Dame time back. Dame, listen, I've been a Dame Lillard fan for a minute, and he was getting He's a lot good. of hate. They were thinking, listen, Dame, why don't you get yourself out of there, out of Portland? I was That's, one of those are the type of guys that I like. You know, not I a guy who's going to run out of there, you know, to a uh, super power team. And um, so I respect the Dame. I mean, they're nine and four right behind the Jazz. So I'm gonna that's say this talking about surprise. So. They're five and one at home, and f- they they got that's they're not a great road team. They're like four and three, but they're like five and one. So, uh, no, I'm actually wrong. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong team. I'm looking at <laughs> Memphis. Uh, three and two. They're excuse me. Portland's the better road team. They're six and two. And I think they're they're right right now looking like the best road team in the NBA. So oh, they can they? win. Yeah, they're six and two on the road. Right what about now. what about Milwaukee? What are they? They're Milwaukee probably, is. Seven, I mean, Milwaukee's what ten and two. So I mean, ten and two. They're seven and zero at home. They, they haven't lost at home yet. You know what, guys? If you're talking for a surprise team, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a team we're not talking about too much is the Sacramento Kings. They've been good. They've been the good. 10 seed. We all, I include myself up there. They're playing. Awful. That's a playing spot yeah, right there. Playing. Playing spot. Play. If they're keeping this up, they may get a playing spot. Five and six, give credit to the Kings. I don't remember the last time the Kings won the playoffs. I was just going to bring that up. I think they might have one of the longest droughts. Like, yeah. They yeah, have the longest. longest yeah. Yeah. Well, Darren Fox is actually nice. I love he just plays Fox. on a bad team, but he's a nice player. I'm saying this now. I saw, I saw Fox get drafted. When he got drafted to the Kings that year, and he was losing his mind. He's doing his thing, and like everybody does at the draft, he looks good as a prospect, as like a rook, like as a rookie. He played his rookie season really well. He had like he averaged a lot of points. He averaged everything, and then like now he's on the Kings, who are like, in my opinion, not the best. They're they're like one of the worst franchises. Yeah, they're that's why I said they're not the best. <laughs> Their franchise is terrible. Yeah, and, and, they some, and they got Sabonis on there too. So. Sabonis is good. Who's lit. I watched him in Indiana. He's lit. He's like really, really he is good. really, really good. And now we talked about. The, did you give your surprise team? Yeah, I uh, went with Portland. You Portland? Dame okay. Dame you know, Lillard. Um, you know, now we gave our surprise. Who's been the most disappointing? Oh team? boy. All right, I'll I'll, I'll go. Who for wants it. to go first on that? You know what? You know what? Let Jake. me let me let me look at the standings real quick. <laughs> I, I got my Mr. Po- All right, I got I got mine too. I so a lot of people don't think this in the East. I would say the Pistons. They're, they're just, always disappointing. Yeah. Well, no, okay, okay. I'll say this for playoffs team that just went back to back to the playoffs. I would say the Nets. They're six and seven. They're 
There you go. <laughs> the that's, Nets, it's a good pick, but not the fact that they're getting their act together. Yeah, they're getting their act. Yeah. I, I, as a they're Nets fan, one, yeah. they're four and one so since what, Kyrie. What was Kyrie, the issue? Kyrie or Nash? It was both. I think it was both. 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 Well, I think both. It's both yeah. of them. I think Ky, I think Kyrie is a player who let's just only look at the on the court stuff. We're not going to look anything off the court. One of the best because handles I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to say oh, yeah. the best. He is one of the best. The handles. best. And Kyrie's a talent, but he is not a team player. He's a me Ooh, first player. Oh yeah, he's 100%. not. He's not. He no. he dipped it, on. Le- he after he got that one shot off on that Golden State series, he dipped. He after thinks that. he's too good. He, he went to he's, the. Well, he's he went to Boston, dipped on them, and Boston had. Oh, it. Boston was projected to go to the finals each and every year because that, that was, was a stacked good. team. Goes to Brooklyn, and now we look at this fiasco. Okay. I'll I also think they should have fired Steve Nash over the they summer should, after, yeah. Thank after their, you. And everybody's like, oh, give him a more chance. Like, no, after what Ime no. Adoga did to him is obviously to tell you. No, you is, don't you don't win one. Sorry to interrupt, Josh, but that was a great point right there. I got to give you that. I was literally you were reading <laughs> in my mind, just like when Josh and I were in the Blue Coats last night yeah. in studio. He was reading my mind. We were reading each other's mind. Look, you don't win one game against the Celtics. One game. One. Yeah, they shut him out. But. It's no. not that they shut him out. It's that, that he got out. Steve Nash can probably coach the Orlando Magic. He could probably coach I mean, the, the Charlotte Hornets or the Detroit Pistons. You, you yeah. put him on a team that was ready to win, and look what it got you. One playoff a, series win. That I'll, was say, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll say this. From the playoffs, when the Nets got shut out by Robs and I Celtics, that, that kind of like – Lean towards him getting fired too. I say, yo, after that, fire him. Like, he, like it, it just showed you I that f- he I would have fired him that coach. night. Was that, uh, was that his first year last year? Second. No, it was his second. Like second. So, He's this, never coached. so this was his third year. Going. I would have, yes. I would have been like, yo, um, Steve, we need to talk before you leave. Uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, disappointing season. You know, we're gonna move forward. You know, you you are no longer the uh, coach of the Brooklyn Nets for the. Next season, we're gonna go find another head coach. Is that how you would have yeah, done? Yeah, but it? like, I, I would, I would have come straight out if I'm, if I'm too. no shy. That's probably what they shy. did. That's probably what they did, right? That's probably what they did this <laughs> season. They say he probably said, "Bet I'm gonna get my wine bottle." Well, speaking of that, when we were talking about how Steve Nash got fired, did you guys see the TikTok that he posted right after he that got fired? That was so funny. I was dying. That's yeah. how you. That's okay. how you so know that dude was happy. That dude did not want to. You tell me, no Steve more. Nash had a TikTok. Yeah. I will say posting? what the what the post was. So he posted on TikTok right after. He was dancing. He was like dancing. He's like, "Oh, me after not seeing Kyrie ever ever again because he got that he, was he, fake. He hates Kyrie Irving. No, it was a real TikTok. Nah, that was fake. I think There's that no shots might have been fake. Yeah, no, but that like, was no, fake. No, but like he was dancing. He was happy. That nah, that was, that was that was that was that. That might have been an old TikTok yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah but like, dude, that like was that, that was remade. That was remade into yeah, a probably, meme. Yeah, thank you. It was probably remade. But so no, he, he, everyone he didn't want to be there no more, bro. He really that, didn't. That, that team. Nobody wants to coach Kyrie Irving because Kyrie Irving, I'm going to say this, is a pain in the you know what. It's toxic. He is. He's no, but, toxic. Okay. I'll say this. When he was on Boston. He was Rob, toxic you, then. He was yeah, toxic. I know. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was super toxic. He was very, he hated Brad Stevens. He hated the whole ownership during the team. Because you don't. You can't tell because you Kyrie can't, Irving. Yeah, you I can't do. tell Kyrie Irving's feelings. You can't feel compassion for Kyrie Irving, who's been playing with LeBron James. He's been playing with other really good players that... Everybody looks up to. He's played with LeBron, who drived him to a finals appearance and I, won a final for him. I would love to see next season Kyrie Irving go to the Lakers and oh see God. the drama that, that is. He, he wants to uh, He wants to survive. I think he wants. You, you're asking a dude who doesn't like talking to the media, one who hates the media, go to the, the media. L.A. media market. Oh Look what they did to Russell Westbrook, bro. Listen, I mean, okay, I I'd say the New York media is just as critical. It's no, just, not no. like L.A. No, it's critical. No. It's L.A. and New York are like got the both. Well, I'll say Philly. They got the top three most critical media markets. Uh, uh, yeah. True. Yeah, dude. If you're just talking about like the whole sports media, or just basketball, I'm talking media. about basketball. Oh, basketball media. Oh, media. Lakers are number one in all sports. M- Lakers, and I think especially Knicks. I think not. Not Lakers. New York media. New York media, like sports media, is rough, especially in the oh, basketball. It's, it's rough. Be- the and the Philadelphia media, especially when they find, uh, we saw we saw what happened with Ben Simmons. Oh my God, dude! I'm sorry. They stay in my life. Like I'll say, I'll say this now. They gonna eat my life in New York they too. Will. They will. I I despise Ben Simmons. I've hated Ben Simmons saying as a Celtics fan, and whenever he was on Philly, he was awful on both teams. But he was more better on on Philly. But like him on the Nets, why? Because, why would you do that? Well, it's what the goal was for the Nets. They're trying to use him as a defensive pawn, as a defensive player, not pawn. Um, but 
Look, it's not working out. It doesn't work out. You it's trade not. him. You do know that they have like a like a like a bet every game is he's going to score lower than seven or higher than seven. Yeah, every, I'm gonna go. Well, how, what, 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 I'll take the. Uh, under we going, I'm gonna go like the number. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go higher. higher. I think I'm gonna go. I think he's he like eight points. Like it's always like under seven or like over seven. That's always the bet. My friend been making some bread from that. I'll say this: he has not scored above seven points this year. He's what got his last game. He got. But did they play last night? I don't even know. I didn't even want. I don't, the only yeah, game they, I watched. He's yeah, been. They, they, he they also beat. been in and out of the lineup for the injury. Speaking of somebody else that's been in and out of the lineup, I also want to give to my disappointing team. Oh boy. No, that, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you ain't go yet. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, who I, I never got to say. Oh, right, who just uh, this most important? Wait. To, no, no, no. I gotta go surprise right here. I don't think. I, I don't think I. You didn't no, say I, surprise no, team. I, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't say disappointment. I okay. I was like, well, I thought you did. Okay. No, I mean, look, I'm just gonna. Say the Nets, as, uh, as we were saying before. All right, Nets. It's got to be the Nets. Yeah. But, look, they are on the upspring, so if you can't say the Nets, I'm going to say the Miami Heat. Oh, yeah. Miami Heat. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. supposed to be th- protected third in the Eastern Conference right now. They're at oh, 12th in the Eastern Conference with a 6th and 7th record. I think they'll get the act here. I think they're going to make a playoff run. I think they'll be fine. But right now, they're my disappointment. I can agree with that, honestly. I got one that's surprising. It's going to barely be a well, good one. on what Sam just said about the Heat, I have cousins who live in Miami and Florida, and they're huge, huge Heat fans. I can agree with that. They just acquired Adebayo, and they just, they're just they re-signing. They're trying to get re-signs. They just got Oladipo, who's supposed to be really good. Jimmy's been really good. But, yeah, Sam, I can agree with that because Jimmy Butler has been pulling up, what, like 20, 30 points a game? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know the, the actual stat on that, but I don't know how many points he has a game. But It's like around 20. I have him in fantasy basketball. He's looking good. But you know who's also looking good for fantasy basketball? Paulo, Banchero, the mm-hmm. rookie, the first overall pick. Mm-hmm. And the Magic are four and nine. They could also be disappointing too. They just wow. drafted Paulo, but how would a team with a, f- a team that drafted number one overall be disappointing if they're projected to be bad? Well, but like. Saying like how we're talking about Florida teams, correct? We're talking about how the Heat are dis- your most disappointing team. Orlando's up there; they're a Florida they're, team. They're not, but how does? But they're not disappointing. I expected I know, yeah. them to be bad. I what you guys? Why, why would you expect that? Because they the Orlando Magic are just not that. No, no, good I'm yet. saying the you Heat. Know, why would you expect the Heat to be bad? Oh, no, no, no really Orlando Magic. Yeah, yeah. They're just disappointing this year. I mean, they're, they're I got like one squad. team that that was I, I predicted I, I, to go to the finals. Who? What's the that? Clippers? Oh yeah, with Kawhi, yeah. I, I the whole Kawhi thing. I feel like they can never oh, get it God. together over there. I'm sorry, but Kawhi just needs to hold himself together. I'm sorry, but well, Kawhi you can say that about Anthony Davis too. Yeah, but too, uh, yeah. but this is at this point, it's like, yo, you. I don't remember last time I seen Kawhi play a game. Yeah, yeah I can't recall it. Ago, two years ago, 2020. No, he played. He he was injured this past season, and now he's playing for the Clippers. But and now he's day to day. I it's. This I team is supposed to beat the – well, the Golden State Warriors are struggling too. Yeah, so, struggling. Uh, that was <laughs> right now, it low-key might be Memphis, and it might be Memphis and Denver for the, from the looks of it. If Phoenix can uh, – maybe Phoenix, but I got Memphis right now. Yeah, I know, but Golden I, State is going to be back. Steph, Clay, Dre. Are you well, sure? Yeah, that, I mean, this, they'll be back. Golden State's my uh, pick for a uh, little most disappointing team. I watched um, – I agree. I don't watch too much of Golden State, but I saw them uh, – um, first game of the season against the Lakers, and I mean they were just like hitting shots all over the place. I was like, damn, this team's really going to be That's back the, where they no, were. No, 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 no. That's the Lakers. Oh well, yeah, yeah. but regardless, I mean Jordan Poole looks ridiculous. I I'll mean say, Steph okay. and Clay, obviously, you both. No, no, no. Let me give you. Let me give you a stat right here now. They're zero and six on the road. They are zero and six. Really? No, wow. they're uh, yeah, they are zero and six on the road. I mean, the, I think the Super Bowl slash Finals uh, slash World Series hangover is real because look at the Rams, mm-hmm. and at, now look at the Golden State Warriors. Look at the Bengals too. Look at the Bengals, too. Yeah, the Bengals are going to come up, though. Okay, I'll say this, too, on the topic of what you were talking about, the Golden State Warriors. I There's a stat that I wrote down that Steph Curry is leading the league in three points made with 5.3. That's crazy to me. Yeah, it does. That. Well, I mean, it's Steph Curry, so it's— It don't really matter either if you're not winning. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, like, how—I don't know how the—well, the Warriors looked good last year. But now that they were in the finals, they beat— Age, bro. Some of them dudes getting older. Yeah, like, but they're getting no. Who, wait, how old is Tom Thompson's? Like one of their oldest be players up in their thirties. Thirties, like yeah. But like the like big three still. is up there now. Like Steph, Draymond, Clay, they up there. Yeah, they can yeah. still get it like, done. They, they, this might be the also they last year together because Draymond might be hit, hit on his way out. I no, think Draymond should retire. If Draymond's anything. not leaving. He loves Golden he State. Loves Don't Golden count State. on it. Don't you bet wanna, on you that. Wanna, you want to bet on it right now? You want to talk? You want to make? You want to make a little? You little friendly bet? 
I I'm I, I'll make a friendly bet because I got what, him, I got what, him leaving. What what what's the bet? No money. That Drake that Drake mom will leave Golden no, State. No, no. What, what's what's the, what's the cons- what's what do we do? What do we what's do? The consequence for that? Um, I'll I'll buy you lunch. Okay. okay. Do that. Where, 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 where are we buying each other lunch? <laughs> you gotta get chicken. You guys have to write this down. Uh, you got a while to find the real. answer. I have no idea. You pick. <laughs> Ooh. Anything under twenty dollars. There you go. That's fair. Got to be under twenty dollars. Under twenty dollars, including tax. Yes. Okay, so if I if if he stays, if he stays, Draymond Green stays, you owe me lunch. I'll buy you Chick Fil A. How about that? There you go. That's a. I'll, I'll buy Chick Fil A or um. Take the Chick Fil A, man. I'm yeah, taking, take I'll the Chick Fil A. I'll, I'll take the Chick Fil A. Right, shake, shake, shake on it. Shake on it. Shake on it. There you go. go. Live back. I got him leaving. I got him leaving. <laughs> I He's don't staying. see him. He's I, staying. I, I don't see, especially after the whole Jordan Poole situation. No, I got him leaving. I, 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 okay, about that whole Jordan Poole situation, I can agree that he should leave Golden State too. No, I'm, sorry, it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Stan. just that. He's What's left to prove in Golden State at this point? Especially when your Draymond's like, yo, I got my rings. I, I. I got, I got the TNT. Too. I got the TNT job. I already got that set up. Yeah, you think he's gonna retire? No, he's not gonna oh. retire. I'm just saying in future, like later well, down the road, like, he's going to. He's 32 years old too. Nah, he's still. Is he a Hall of Famer? Yes, hundred, hundred percent. I'd retire then. I'd retire. 100%. He's first ballot Hall of Famer. He Thank could, you. He could be. But like honestly, with all the pool situation when they were fighting, yeah, I, I think he's gone. he's gone. He's he gone. He slumped. He did. <laughs> but he he's on a 25 mil contract right now. He's he's making twenty five mil on the Warriors. Could you imagine that? Exactly. Hey, so Curry's go make- hang it up. You won your finals. Go hang it up. Go get in the uh, booth. Go, yeah, sit, like break, go okay. sit next to Shaq and uh, Charles in the studio yeah, and but make like, some more bread. You can say this too. How Brady is also doing the same thing. He wants to hang up his cleats and be a commentator. That's good relatable say, to good say, good but, 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 but Actually, hang on, hang on. Good, se- good segue, Jack, because I want to get into the NFL right now. That is a good segue. <laughs> Brady's not retiring. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's he, not no, retiring. Hang on, Sam. No, no. He might not. He There's a difference. Like, he won't and he needs to. He, you saying he won't, which probably, you're right. He probably won't. We're saying he needs to retire. He definitely needs. I'm, okay, I'll say this. This is the first time yeah. we're looking at Tom Brady saying, bro, you need to retire now. Okay, I'll say this. I'm a I'm a diehard, diehard Patriots fan. I grew up watching Brady. I had season tickets. Yes, like, get that backstory on your jersey. <laughs> yeah, considering I'm wearing the go Tampa if you guys are watching the game right now. Uh, I've been a Patriots fan since like '09. I lived in Massachusetts for like a while. I've had season tickets with them. They were great. They've won many Super Bowls when I was there. But Brady now, I'm sorry to say, he's getting up there on age. He's 42. He just got out of That's a. Div- cr- Every time I hear that, it just like blows. Is he my 42 mind. or 43? He's 43. He's 43. 43 years old. It's still balling. It just blows. Well, he's not balling. Well, listen, he's up there in um passing yards this year. But like I said, yeah. like I don't care about these stats unless you're winning. But like, I w- if he was yeah. bottom ten in the league in passing yards and they were winning, what is he now? I would rather that. What is he in passing yards? No. He's top no, five. He's, I know that for yeah, a he's fact. Two. He's, he's two. two. Look, Brady, it's not going out like this. That's just not like him. Oh, you can't. You, Listen, what if do I was you have Brady, left to prove? You have seven he got super a divorce because he wanted to play more football. Yeah, that man put football. Yo, I know ball is life, but you had Giselle as a white, bro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> damn, come on. Right there. True. He come caught on. he caught a ball down on that. Nah, if, if I was Tom Brady. I would have retired after my Super Bowl because I don't I, think I, like the Bucks aren't that um they're not that team anymore in my opinion. I'll say I this. saw an interesting um he's tied story se- he's, that he's said seventeenth in touchdowns. I saw an interesting good. story that said he um San Francisco. Oh, next year. I've seen that. Like seen that imagine, too. oh That's my goodness. Okay. Know, okay, I think this will definitely be his last season in Tampa. No, but I'm sorry, he is going to San Francisco, Rob. That is yeah, Jake, okay, you no, might no, need no. to get a New Jersey, buddy. Yeah, no, I'll say this. Jake, so if he goes to San Francisco, <laughs> are you getting a San Francisco Brady jersey? No. Why not? How come? That would be a dope jersey. That would be a dope I, that jersey. That would be a, it would be a sick jersey for Brady. He but. wants he wants to be closer to his family. He His mom and his dad are getting up there in age. Oh, yeah. He wants yeah. to play. You know who else wants to go to the back to his family? He's also, Aaron Judge. He's, no. also a big, he's also a big Joe Montana fan. I know he, he is. Well, he, wants, yeah. he, he grew up a Niner fan. He, he dreamed of being drafted by the Niners, and he wanted to go back to them. Yeah, he did. And think about it. They're not going to stay with Jimmy G after this year. Jim, Jimmy G. Oh, what is I, their plan? I, I love Jimmy this, G. I feel so bad I for him. I Jimmy love G. him, too. Trey Lance, who knows? But, guys, if you have an opportunity with this loaded team to win and oh ring with Brady, I, I, I go I go, I, I go I for go Brady. I go, too, yeah. I mean, like, I'll say this, too. San Fran is very loaded this year. Besides, oh, I, I just, I'm Christian sorry, but I'm sorry to say I despise Jimmy G. I Why? hate Jimmy Garoppolo. He played awful in the Patriots. When when the Patriots signed him that year for the Super Bowl, 
we signed him for a one year deal and then he won a Super Bowl and then he acted all arrogant and said like, Oh, the Patriots are not good, like we didn't have but, a good season. Hold up. I thought since you're a Patriot man, you know probably know this more than me. Mm-hmm. I thought Jimmy G was uh Bill Belichick's guy. Yeah. Uh he was at one point, but like he is that why no, they traded him? They, yeah. they Jimmy G did a lot for that team as a backup. Yeah, no. Th- no so I, I believe from sources on Twitter that it was Kraft who wanted Brady and Belichick yeah, wanted to trade Brady That's to San Francisco what, yeah. because he wanted to keep Jimmy G that year. Because so. everybody was saying, like, a lot of sources in the NFL and they're saying, like, yo, no, Jimmy G, Bill Belichick wanted, wanted to keep Jimmy I just, G. I, I like Jimmy G, but, like, the thing is there's a lot of people who give him, like, a lot of slack. Dude is just a winner. That's all He's I gotta say. He's a winner. As as much hate as he get, because I don't have the a winner. Yeah. Listen, I think I think San Fran is probably uh, they're going um, second. Probably, honestly, I'd give him the best team in the NFC. Just in my opinion, yeah. talent wise, talent wise. But Jimmy G, uh, do I trust him? Not so much. But the dude just knows how. To, he just wins. He That's all I gotta it. say. About he didn't win the biggest game of his career. He's what game was that? Really Listen, you're in the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. I mean, yeah. it's it's, it's, it's not, don't it's, matter. It's tough bro. to win the Super Bowl. I'll it's say tough. this though. Yeah, I, 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 tell that to Tom Brady. He got seven. Tell, tell that to the Cowboys who can't even make the Super Bowl. Easy, buddy. That's not the topic we're on. Uh, the That's 90s. not the topic we're on, bud. <laughs> we'll get there. Actually, we're about to get there now. Perfect. Yeah. The there NFC East. I'm not a, okay. For years, the NFC East has been one of the worst divisions of football. I'm not an NFC fan. I, I, I'm it's a, NFC now South the best division of football. It is one of the best. Three of the four teams, I, I believe the Commanders are over 500. They're not. They're not. Okay. <laughs> they're definitely you. not because they're not. Okay. Well, I'm saying this to everybody. It's Philly versus Commanders this week. I have. I. I'm saying they're this not. now. They're I'm saying. Five, the, yeah. I'm saying the Eagles are going to destroy them. They're of they are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, I'm, well, I'm, I don't. I listen. I. I don't know something about these divisional matchups in the NFC East. Like you can never just like. You can never I mean, look what Philly it, happened you know? to not not a divisional matchup last week on uh, Thursday night, but I mean Philly like barely got by the Texans without Brandon Cooks They're and Nico Collins. The- Brandon Cooks was. So I mean, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm in the divisional game. Where's the game? Do we know? Their game is in Philly. Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's in All Philly. right, maybe I'll give Philly a little edge on that, yeah, but I mean, I have I have the Eagles going 15 and two. That ooh. So, to do they so split? Weird. Hang on, hang on, because I think I know where he's going. They split with Dallas and the New York. Yes, they do. Yep, I figured that. I think they'll lose to the Titans as well. They the got the Titans? Titans. I got them losing to I'd the Titans. I'd be so happy if they lose to the Titans. And I think the Cowboys will take that one uh, spot in the East. No, 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 no. I don't think I don't think the Cowboys are going on this either. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So these are the next couple games for Philly. Let's they got it. the they got the Commanders Monday, which is a win. Let's they got it. my quote Sunday, Let's which win. is another dub. Green Bay. Winnable, winnable. Mm-hmm. Titans, winnable, but not gonna be easy. Giants at New York, toss up, toss up. That's, that's, a, that's yeah. a very good game. That's a uh, very good game though. Bears, winnable at at. Listen, uh, the Soldier Bears F- have been looking good. Okay, I'll say this too. At Soldier I, Field, yeah. I know, I know. Then somebody. they got Dallas Christmas yeah. Eve, which is a toss up. Oh boy, okay, man, wait, they, have, they play Christmas. Dallas Christmas. They lose that. Oh, one. that that. No, I can't believe I'm saying this. I want the Cowboys to win on Christmas Eve. Thanks, man. I really, I can't believe yeah, I'm saying this. Appreciate that, bro. Because you know what? You you may be a Cowboy fan, but you know we 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 what we unite on. Yeah, yeah respect it. You, you just hate the Eagles. I had a, and, uh, yeah. I not not I to get not to get up too off topic, but I went to Chickies and Pete's uh, two weeks ago to see myself. You know, a little cheesesteak for the Cowboys game, and I was wearing my Cowboy jersey. <laughs> this little kid, he had to be like five years old, comes oh, up to me and he goes, "Hey, excuse me, Dallas sucks." <laughs> And I was That's like, great. damn, That's like this damn, like, that kid knows Dallas. <laughs> I was like, damn, like I, this being down here, like by Philly, you just got like no love down here. It's kind of rough, but uh, you feel me now when I wear my giant jersey around? I got booed in the street. Yeah, I know. It's, but, it's did rough. you really? Well, yeah. I, I don't understand why you're booed. I think you're booed because obviously you live in your part, you're in Rowan, your part, which is South yeah. Jersey. So you're going to get booed by a lot of Eagles fans. In I'll, South say, I'll say this too. But it, uh, <laughs> the Giants have been playing very, very well. And you being the resident Giants fan, you've been at the game, you was at the training camp. So it was Danny Dimes. Oh boy, Danny Dimes, the goat. Has he earned that? <laughs> I think we talked about this earlier in the year too. Has he earned that long-term contract now? I would give him a two to three-year contract. I'd say, okay, you did great this year for what you had. You had barely any. Your best receiver was Wandale Juan Robinson. Dale Robinson. Juan <laughs> Dale, but oh boy. <laughs> okay, if I'm Brian Dable and Joe Shane, I say, okay, we're gonna give you receivers next year. Let's see what you could do with those guys. With a two, three year yeah. deal. Because if you don't, yeah. you draft Caleb Williams. You trade I'm up and thinking, go. like, do you um, franchise tag him? No, you two, three yeah. deal. Two, three year. Okay. You think the Giants are drafting Caleb Warren? No. Two, no, Caleb Williams in oh, two, three, in two yeah. years if Daniel Jones does not succeed. Yeah, or no, they're going like to draft that. J.J. McCarthy. Because uh, 
Daniel Jones yeah. again, like he's also getting led by he's being carried by Saquon for hours. Oh my god! Now let's, 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 what do the Giants do with Saquon? They're keeping him. You're keeping him. You're you keep, have to keep him. You, you have no, to. No, you don't get rid of Saquon at all. Like that's I crazy. I just don't give him too much money. I, so Rob, I said, Rob, I couldn't agree on that. So one. Don't give him too much money. Can I say this? Listen, I wanna, you, you have you have contact with uh, Dave? You you have input in this, so you're talking about oh I'll go out and draft. Listen. We all know you're at the draft like You got a little input now? Nah, unfortunately, I don't. But, you know, I can preach on Twitter, though, what I want. I'll I mean, say that. I'll you say hit the nail on the head with the Thibodeau pick. So, I mean. Yeah. That was, that was like, a oh, big I W, did, too. I did, I did say cave on a kneel. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was like, I was really – I was really – I then, look, I think I think they have to go with Saquon now. There were reports on Twitter per sources that they were talking about a contract and during the bye week. Saquon, what he did for this team, if this team gets the playoffs, which most likely there is will, there's over a 90% chance they will, Saquon is going to stay on this team. Yes. Whether Speaking Giants, whether you like it or not, Saquon's going to be on this team. It's the matter of how much now because— Do you give him that Zeke Elliott contract? Uh, no. I would hope not. No. Listen, the Zeke contract's not too— bad. Like, when you—I mean, obviously Tony the, Pollard, the numbers rise every year. So, I mean, yeah, Tony Pollard's another story better. I, I, everyone knows that, but— I'll say this, too. There's a lot of people who think Saquon is better than Zeke, and I can relate to that. Because as a Patriots fan, we don't have good running backs. You guys in the NFC East have one of – like, you guys have three of the best NFC – like, it goes in the in the rushing stats right now. It's Saquon, and then Zeke is, like, down below there. But, like, with yeah, my- Zeke's not up there. I have to agree. Saquon's definitely a better back. But, um, yeah. you know, I actually – I read something this morning. I think that they said that they're going to table their uh, contract conversations until the end of the year. Okay, but this is, is funny. Smart. This is a funny is, stat. No, too. that's smart. That's smart to no, do. But, but this is a funny stat too. So I'm on. So they they have Lamar and Justin Fields. They have Lamar is eight as the number rushing as number rushing, and then they have Justin Fields as eleven. Saquon will be a New York Giant next year, and Giants fans, including myself, yeah. are going to be pumped up to see him back in blue. Look, you look at this. With the Z contract and the Saquon contract, oh. I, 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 I'm, I'm really interested in what he's going to ask. I am interested to see. Because if the Giants say no in yeah. a hypothetical world, pay the man. He's going to go to another team and yeah. he's going to get that money. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't but think the don't Z, like, everyone hates on that Z contract. That, that contract was it's, what, it's four not, years ago. It's, it's not, not as bad as it. It's not. What was the contract? No, the contract. It was six years. It's just Zeke's looks mil. bad. I, I honestly don't even know. Zeke, but everyone right, just no, yeah. hates on the contract. I didn't think it was too bad of a yeah. contract. As, as he slowed down, yes, obviously everyone yeah. knows that. Is Pollard the better back? Yes, everyone knows that. But that one-two punch, I mean, it's been working so far. So yeah. I mean, yeah. who, who's your RB one on the on the Cowboys? Yeah, I think it's well. The Pollard. RB one is Zeke, no, no, no. Who, in my opinion. It should be Pollard. No, I'm not Pollard. saying I'm not saying we should start Pollard. Pollard, I think he just got to get more touches. Thank you. Hundred really, percent. Yeah. I would just going to be a free agent next year, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. Where's he going? They got to give him his money. No, he's got he's got another year, I but they got to give him his money. Oh wait, no, he definitely doesn't have two. It's either he goes. Let me look that up right now. Oh, he might be a free agent. Yeah, I, I think, think he's, you're right about that. I remember reading something. He, he's playing for a contract. I'll tell Jerry. I'll t- I'll send him a message. I'm like, Jerry, listen, you need that money for Pollard. I'll chip in. Okay, we'll chip. You're gonna chip in. I'll chip in for Pollard. I need I need Pollard. And and then the year after that, Trayvon Diggs and uh, C D Lamar uh, due for some money too. Yeah. So it's gonna be an interesting couple of years. So but I mean, I want to talk about the playoff picture as oh. we get. We're getting deeper into the season because we're nearing Thanksgiving. Uh, the playoff picture for the for the NFL. So right now you got Eagles one at the top of the top of the conference for the NFC. You got Bills one at the top of the conference for the AFC. I'm a, oh boy. Okay, I'll say this. Just give me your early <laughs> like Super Bowl per, you know picks what? right now. I got mine. I feel, like, I've been saying this for the who's longest. Gonna, time. Who's gonna be playing in the Super Bowl come February? Okay, considering I'm a Patriots fan, it's kind of like we're looking down bad. We're last place. I know that. I'm not saying the Patriots. I know that. Mac Jones Bowl. might not be who you thought he was. He is the guy. No, he's not. He's still the guy. No. I'm sorry, but I do like Zappy. I like both of them. Don't get me wrong. Not another guy. What are you talking about? So they going to the playoffs? No, no, I don't think we're going back to the playoffs. But like for the Super Bowl, if we're talking about early Super Bowl predictions, I'm saying this every to blatantly. I think everybody will think this too. Bills, Eagles. The Bills have been looking a one. Diggs has been a one. Very generic. Allen's been generic answer. What are you talking about? Everybody's been saying that. All critiques have been saying that. Bills, they, got, they picked up Naeem Hines off the trade block. For, oh, yeah. They didn't even so that's use him. They haven't used them yet. No, well, he had to get integrated in offense. I think they'll be playing. He'll be, if the Bills play today. People are acting I'm, like I'm Hines positive. was like like Nick Chubb they acquired. Like, I, I mean, obviously going to help out. No, the they, Bills they need a receiving back, though. They have no running game, the Bills. They've never had a running nah, game they, since they, Shady McCoy. You know what? They got a better running Bills, game than the Chiefs. The, the, problem with the, no, the problem with the Bills, they do have a running game, and it's Josh Allen. That's, that's gonna point, play yeah. a wear. On, that's gonna play a wear and tear on him 
because you look at the Jets, they figure out how to stop him. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, he has an elbow injury. Who knows what's going to do long term? If he's out, I think he's listed as questionable for the He's going to play, yeah. but yeah, if he doesn't perform, yeah. I don't think Odell's going to sign with the Bills. Okay. Yeah, that's another question. Where that's Odell lands? Okay, so they oh, come on now, guys. He, Why are we asking this? He's coming home. Oh, he's oh, coming oh. home to Texas. No, oh, you mean home where his fans. where oh. his dad where his dad's family oh, resides? You mean home? He's coming to, the to Texas. New York Football Giants, AT and T Stadium. Can I say this book too? It. He's coming home, no, baby. Book it. Jerry's you know, getting book it. Next season, Odell will be in a Giants. He's not. Universe. He's not going to cold weather places. You already said. Hang on. 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 First off, because we got are we wrapping up some what's We're, your Super Bowl picks? Oh, I know you got Bill, yeah. Jake. Yeah. I'm gonna go with representing the AFC. Oh boy. The Kansas City Chiefs. They do look and good. the NFC is the San Fran Cisco 49ers. A repeat of Super Bowl 54. And the same result from Super Bowl 54 will happen. The Kansas City Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. Wow, I'm saying mm, that's great blatant. mind sink alike. That's I this, crazy. Listen, I had the same matchup, but I'm gonna change it now because I can't have the same one. As what what, 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 what do you think of like? No, I was no, honestly no. on the. I, I like the Chiefs. Um, oh uh, no, no I'll, 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 I'll stick pills? with the Chiefs. Yeah, listen, I love the. I mean, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, I, I just can't go against. The you guy. can't. Go I know the Bills me. beat him this year in the regular season. I mean, he came down to the wire, but listen, I'll go with the Chiefs and. Let's see. I'm just looking. You here. could say you could also. I mean, the NFC is wide open. Any team can win the NFC this year. For the Cowboys. Do not. No. Oh, my God. Rob, Classic you, Cowboys. Okay, I'll say this is our year. No, I'm just kidding. I'm this not one of those guys. I'm not that. No, no, no. no Rob, Rob, speaking of Cowboys fans, I know we're going to go off topic here. I have a friend who was so confident that the Cowboys are winning the Super Bowl. He's probably a great guy. He, he is a great guy. But uh, he said, I, I'm a, hey, we have a little friendly. He's like, oh, I'll do anything you want if the, if the Cowboys don't even make the NFC Championship game. <laughs> Horrible bet. What was nah. this last year or this year? You talking this about? year. Listen, I mean, they they should. And if they don't do it this year, then something – oh, I say this every year. Something's got to change. This is the year. This is the matchup. Now, if the Eagles hold on to the one seed, they'll get their bye. So the Cowboys would drop to the five right. if they stay ahead of the Giants. If that happens, they will play most likely, just the way things are panning out now, the winner of the NFC – South, you know, box. box. Yeah. But so it's probably gonna be so if you if that's your matchup first round of the playoffs, that's a golden matchup for you right there. Golden okay. matchup. Okay. You're saying golden matchup against Tom Brady. I don't yes. want to play Tom Brady in no. the playoffs. That team I'll say this. I don't either. I don't want to but the I, before I'm sorry, we gotta cut this short regard because yeah, this ahead. is definitely a good topic I wanna re- real, come back to, especially when we start to clean up over here. That's gonna be mm-hmm. y'all could definitely yeah, go, yeah. go at it. <laughs> But we have a new segment that we want to do here, right on our on Overtime Podcast, called Start One, Bench One, Cut One, which is basically something you've probably all seen already on social media. I've seen it all the time. We're going to do a QB edition of Start, Bench, Cut. Couple QBs here, very interesting. And one is playing right now as we speak. Yeah, and <laughs> losing as we speak as well. Mm-hmm. We have Gene. We're going to do Geno Smith, Daniel Jones, Kirk Cousins. All right, I got you. Go hang on. So we're gonna you could choose either choose to start one, bench one, cut one. Jake, we're gonna go to you first. All right. Considering Gino's been a one in the NFC, like the A one guy besides Rogers, besides Dak, I'm saying start Gino. Gino's been like really good, really good. He's been on many teams. On Seattle, he just he's proving Drew Locke wrong as we speak. Everybody thought Drew Locke would start. No. It's, I actually you know, laughed in the offseason when they thought everybody thought they was gonna get Drew Lock. I was like, I'm thinking like, yo, they really gonna say Drew Lock starting over. They really no. Everybody's been saying like, oh, Drew Lock is gonna be QB one for us. Like every Seattle fan that I've, I have a lot of Seattle fans, even that are friends that I'm friends with, saying I've said to them multiple times, you want to tell me how you guys got picked off at the goal line by Malcolm Butler? Oh, no, they get Super quiet at that part. They get yeah, quiet. Yeah, they get they 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 shut up, and I think it's hilarious to me whenever I say that to them. All right, but, Sam. I got so I know Sam's a huge Giants fan. Sam, I'm sorry to say this. We're cutting Danny Dimes. He's looking good, but don't get me wrong. But Danny Dimes, for me, he looked better than he he looked better than he did last year. But I'm still cutting him. I'm just I'm sorry. I just don't like the Giants. I'm a pa- as a Patriots fan, I just don't like the Giants. That means you're benching Kirk Cousins. Cousins. No, but I'm benching Kirk Cousins. Yeah, benching Kirk Cousins. Sam. I'm just, okay, I'll say oh, this too. Ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I know you're a diehard Giants fan. I respect the crap out of Eli. I used to live by Eli. I used to like my oh, friends oh, used to see him too. Okay, let's let's not get into where. That yeah, but stuff yeah, right I there. know. But Eli, let's, let's get, Eli's a great quarterback. Let, he is. 
Hall of Famer. Uh, let's get on start bench cut here. If we're going on this season alone, and I put my journalist cap on my fan cap off, I'm starting Geno Smith, benching Kirk Cousins, and cutting Daniel Jones. Wow. Weird. As a Giants wow. fan, you're saying benching, cutting Daniel Jones? Yes. That's crazy. I think Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback than Daniel Jones. Daniel okay. Jones is having a similar year as rookie year, but he actually has a coach who can coach him and a team around him where he actually win ball games. True. Mm-hmm. But, like, who even is the coach of the Vikings? Like, does anybody Kevin know? Kevin O'Connell. Who, is he good? Is he he's well a, known? He's having amazing. a great year. He's, he's, got a, great he's, year. A, he's going to be a coach of the year candidate. But yes. you know who the coach of the year is? I already know. Michael McCarthy. No, I'm Brian Dable. <laughs> I'll say mine too. All right, Josh, who's yours? Uh, I think, honestly, I'm going Kirk Cousins to start because he's the better okay. quarterback out of the three. As much as I like Geno. I, I was tough because I do like Geno so much. And Everybody he, had, he still got the over. bar of the season. Oh they wrote God. me off. I didn't write back. That's still, I know. That's, yeah. a, that's a bar, That's going to be in a Drake song real soon. Yeah, soon. It, 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 yeah. it is. What's the bar? They wrote me off. I didn't write back. He said that in his first, on that yeah. Monday night game when he they won. That was such a bar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going start. I'm going to start Kurt Cousins. I'm going to bench Geno because I think Geno's a good backup to have in case somebody gets Oh, my hurt. God. He's been a backup all of his career, too. Yeah, he's a good backup. <laughs> I'm cutting Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones, like, I think he's having a very, so far, the best season of his career. But he can't really throw the ball. And he can't hold on to the football either. So he's also got no receivers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, except I'm, Wondell Robinson. He can't hold on to the ball. Well, you want to know who also has no receivers, too? Kind of saying this. Geno. Because Tyler Lockett's getting up there on age. DK. DK is one of my favorite wide receivers in the league. I love DK Metcalf. My dad loves DK Metcalf. I love DK. With, like, a passion. When he played at Ole Miss, really good receiver. When he plays now in Seattle, he looks really good. And he's kind of proving everybody in the NFC West kind of wrong for receivers. Like, D-Hop is a top 10 receiver. I get that. But DK is top five. Yeah. Ooh. When we go to my side bench cut, or you want that's to say a debatable. Something? We'll talk that's about that later. That's debatable yeah. after we'll the second. Go ahead, uh, Rob. Right um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna switch things up on game. y'all. I'm gonna go. Let's see. Just as of right now, start my boy Gino. Dude's balling. You starting mean, Gino? True. Yeah, you guys are uh, no faith in Danny Dimes, eh, Sam? I'm, no, I'm right. giving him. I'm benching him, man. He's staying on my roster. All right. All right? I mean, <laughs> Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Listen, the only reason I know so much about Kirk Cousins because on my fantasy football team. Yeah, he was All right, a so too. he has a spotlight. And let me tell you, my team's not that bad. He's my super flex. Joe Burrow's my first quarterback. I want to get that straight. Oh. So anyway, oh, okay. that's besides the point. Respect. Kirk Cousins. 16 primetime losses since 2015. <laughs> That, when the that, spotlight yeah, is on that dude, he doesn't win. He does not come through. It's so funny to me watching those Viking games and seeing how frustrated Justin Jefferson gets after some balls that are thrown to him. It's actually quite funny. And I love Justin Jefferson, too. Yeah, he's a good receiver, <laughs> but I don't know. Like Kirk Cousins is a good dude. I like him. I respect yeah, him. Yeah, I, I think he's a... Like I think he's still an NFL quarterback. I don't think he'll be with the Vikings next year. Oh, me neither. But um, you yeah, know, nah, just nobody, uh, nobody thinks that. Cut off my team. You know, but Jones. I mean, you know, I gotta give some respect to the guy. He's got no really. He's got Saquon. Other than that, like we keep bringing up Wandell. Like where is Galladay? Tony obviously. Uh, he's down the to the Chiefs. And yeah, that's what I got for that one. Respect. All right, man. That was a, we're gonna wrap it up here. I think, man. That was a great, great show. Great episode, guys. Thank you. This is also. Our freshman edition, if you just if you haven't forgotten, this is our freshie special. So all three of these guys are <laughs> freshmen here at the Roman Sports Cam program, and they've been doing a great job getting, breaking down the doors, getting active. So shout out to the three of these guys right here. Appreciate it. We're going to sign it. off here. I'm your man, JC Joshua Counts. I'll see y'all next time for episode three. This is the RTN Overtime Podcast.